Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Food Expert Chi. It's officially 2018. Oh my gosh, time passes by so quickly. Happy New Year, guys. Happy, happy New Year. May you have a wonderful New Year, wonderful 2018. May God bless you all. Today we're going to be talking about two different flavors of the same kind of food and this is something that a lot of Taiwanese people eat and I've just started to see this product um, showing up in different stores. This is a relatively new one, well at least I believe so because um, I've only started to see this product recently. In the past I've never seen this product before. Um, but I might be a little bit slow when it comes to news, but to me, it's new. So I've decided to talk about them in this video right now um, to share the new products with you that's on the market right now. Um, these, okay, maybe I'll just show them to you. These really cute bowls are what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. Um, these bowls are super cute. You can see that I'm holding them in my hands right now and that they're kind of tiny. Very, very cute indeed. These are the instant version of glutinous rice balls. In Mandarin, we call them tang yuan. Tang yuan. And if you check tang yuan in a dictionary, which I'm going to play for you right now, it's going to read it for you. Hello. Hi. Play. It's not playing. English. Boiled balls of glutinous rice flour eaten during the lantern festival. Tang yuan. Okay? It says it's the boiled balls of glutinous rice flour eaten during the lantern festival. Basically, it's eaten during lantern festival, but there are a lot of other times when we would eat it. Sometimes really just as a kind of dessert. And even though we say rice balls, yes, rice balls can actually mean sweet rice balls, like dessert. And here, these two are the instant version of rice balls, of glutinous rice balls. And I'm just super excited about them because I love I love me some rice balls, some tang yuan occasionally, but tang yuan can be a little bit, um, not difficult, but it can be complicated to cook because they stick everywhere, and I'm just not much of a cook. <laughs> so um, I would love to get these every once in a while, not very often because, well, no matter how good they are, I don't even know if they're good or not, but no matter how good they turn out to be, they're instant, and by instant, it doesn't really mean fresh. So don't rely on these. And okay, this is the Hong Dou, I believe. Yeah. Hong Dou Tang. Oh. Oh wait. Mm. Let me check the receipt because this might be something different from what I um imagined it would be. Um it says here, Jing Chun Wu Hong Dou Tang. Hong Dou Tang means red bean soup. And Jing Chun Wu Mo Ta Hong Dou Tang. Matcha red bean soup. Um, I might have mistaken this with glutinous rice balls. This doesn't say anything about glutinous rice balls. It says Gan Zhao Ma Shu. Ma Shu means um, mochi. So it's it's also a kind of um, glutinous rice ball, but it's usually eaten dry. And what I imagined is glutinous rice balls in soup. So it would be called Tang Yuan if it's cooked in soup and eaten like with the soup. But this one, it says ma shu, which is eaten dry. I'm not so sure, but either way, it is a sort of glutinous rice ball. And these are all instant ones. So this one is the red bean flavor, and this one is the red bean matcha flavor. Um, 
like I said in my past videos, I'm not a huge fan of matcha, but it might be good. I don't know. This one is matcha, the green one, obviously. And that one is the red one, which looks also very nice. And what I assumed is that these white cubes are glutinous rice balls. They look really, really cute. And we're going to eat these. But before we actually dig right into these, I would like to show you the ingredients. Um, not actually the ingredients, but what's actually in sight, like the nutrition information. Here it says fan shi zhi fang, which means trans fat. I bought this because I originally thought there's like zero grams of trans fat in there, like the ling gong ke here. But then here it says 0 0.1. So yes, there is trans fat inside and I don't like that idea, but I'm going to eat it anyway. And that would kind of make me want to rethink again if I want to buy this in the future again. Not so sure, but I'd like to point out that a lot of food imported from Japan, I'm not saying every single kind, but a lot, has actually trans fat inside, and I'm not really happy about that. But anyway, we're gonna dig in, and we're gonna, um, I can't read Japanese, but according to my understanding, it's basically just like, like instant noodles. You add hot water to it. Okay, but before that, we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna pray. Amen! Okay, I'm going to start with the red bean first because I'm more of a red bean fan than a matcha fan. Okay, it's pretty easy to open, which is great. Okay, this looks nice. This I actually bought for $69 per bowl, which is pretty expensive. Um, it is $69 and dollars but if you buy two, you can get a discount of $10 each. So I bought one for $59, uh, for $69, and if I want to buy these two and then divide it into two, then one would be $59. But after I placed my order online, I actually found this at care for which is a pretty big supermarket in Taiwan and gosh I oh well, they're selling that at care for for 49 so mm, anyway I already placed my order and already got it so can't really do anything about it I love the bowl though look at it it's really really cute I love it love it love it I can't read Japanese so I'm just gonna look at these words like they're pictures. <laughs> wow, looks nice. Oh, and it, well, I can't really read Japanese characters, but I do read these characters. It says Liang Mei Ru. That means there are two pieces inside. I'm assuming that there are two pieces of this mm, mochi or glutinous rice balls, tang yuan, or whatever inside. Okay. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is really interesting. I need to show you this. Look at that. Oh, that is what's inside. That is so cute. Oh, and here, I can't really... Okay, guys, I, I'll, I'll need your help with this. Um, if you can read Japanese, I really need you to help me with this because this is some sort of a luck thing. That tells me what my luck is today. I mean, I'm a Christian and I don't really rely on that. But that's what it says here on this, on this bowl. So I'm going to need you guys to translate it for me, okay? If you can do that, I'll appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I actually never expected this to look like that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Smells a tiny, tiny bit like red beans. But it doesn't have a really strong smell to it. But like really tiny red bean parts that you might not see here. Okay. And that, that is the glutinous rice ball or mochi or whatever it should be inside. And it has two pieces in here, which is exactly what it says on the packaging. Oh wow, I'm surprised. I'm really, really surprised. Okay. This is the very first bowl of this really cool product. 
and we're gonna add hot water to it but you know what this is actually made with bao li long and i was said that if you add hot water to bao li long it's actually going to release um toxic ingredients or like poison so i don't think i'm gonna use this bowl i'm gonna use my bowl from home because i'm at home obviously so it's really convenient for me to get a bowl anyway okay this is the red bean one let's open the other one and look what's in the other one? Oh my gosh i'm just so excited about it because i've never expected them to look like that i was actually expecting like powder like in the small little ooh, packaging but no it's just randomly put in a bowl okay this one is the green one is this it says here more cha matcha very very clearly it looks like this looks very cute as well this is the green one this is the red one they both look adorable i have to admit that like, they do look adorable are you guys ready for the matcha red bean soup i'm super excited guys look at the green it's so pretty oh it's so pretty okay uh oh oh my god i can actually read it um even though you guys might not know this I actually took Japanese lessons for two years straight. And I can't really read Japanese to be honest with you, but I do, I can read like tiny, 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 a few letters. This one, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, mo, ji, oh, and ru, ru, ru means inside, this is Mandarin. But omochi means one mochi. So, okay, I was wrong. This is not glutinous rice balls. These are mochi. Mochi, mochi, mochi. Okay. Are you ready? Let's open this. Oh, it's super cute. It's super cute. It's super duper cute. Look at that. Oh, it's super green. And again, guys, I need your help with this. Help me translate it, okay? Can't really read it. Oh, it looks like, pardon me, but it does look like um, those, um, the food that you would feed the fish at the parks. This really looks like it. This, this looks like the food that fish at the parks would eat. The, but I can't wait to try these. These are so creepily cute. I love these. These are so cute. Look at that. Oh, I just keep pouring them out like so that you guys can see clearly. I just keep pouring them out. I'm like crazy. So I got these pieces on my table everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. This one smells so like matcha. The smell is super strong. Do you want to smell it? Strong, right? Ha. Oh. This one really smells not that strong, but this one has two pieces inside, and this one only has one. So, you guys need to consider that if you want to purchase this. Okay, guys, I can't wait to try these, so we're just going to go for hot water. Are you guys ready, ready, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Let's go! I'm gonna take this piece out. Just feel the texture. It's hard. It's like a really hard piece of white flour, I guess. Up close. I really am curious to find out how it would look like once I added hot water, hot water to it. That is the matcha flavor, and then this one is the red bean flavor. This one has 40 grams inside, and it has two pieces of this white thing. And this one is actually 30 grams, but these two cost the same, so... I don't know, I guess this one, the ingredients in this one cost more? I have no idea. Okay, guys, I'm actually next to the hot water kettle, and we're just gonna add hot water and see what happens. We're gonna start with this one, because this is the one that I opened first, and we're gonna see.
Okay. Ooh, this is the red bean flavor. It looks so nice. You stir it a little bit, and then, ooh, look at that. It became so soft. That white thing. Mochi. Yo. <laughs> so soft. It was really hard, like a stone. Now it's like super soft. Ooh. Looks delicious. All right, can't wait to try this. Let's try this. Let's do the soup first. <laughs> it's too sweet. But it does taste a little bit like red beans, right? Mm, test red beans test mm. I don't know how to describe it it tastes a bit off um, it tastes how do I describe it <laughs> red beans was supposed, supposed to be a little bit like sandy texture it's supposed to have a little bit of a text of a sandy texture this one does not have that, and that kind of makes it a little bit not right. And it does taste a little bit empty. I don't know if that's the because way to describe it, but that's like there's no bean. not a taste. No, no, I'm not really a fan of that. Okay, now let's do this more cheese. Mochi. Close up. Yeah, there you go. Mm. 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 That tastes good. That tastes, the texture is right. And it's not very sweet. It doesn't really have a strong flavor to it. But the texture is on point. I like that white thing a lot. Mm. Oh, no, me too. Mm. I would give this a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 for the for the red bean one. Now let's go for the matcha. Oh, this is our matcha flavor. Okay. Do you smell anything? Not really. Give it a little bit of a stir. We only have one oh, moji for that one. And yeah, there's only one in there. Oh, wow. Looks soft. <laughs> looks kind of cute. Okay. You guys ready? Let's try this red. Oh no. Let's try this matcha flavor one. Okay, the soup goes first. Soup, 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 soup only. Soup, soup, soup. The texture is still a bit off. This one is more similar to matcha. It's a little bit bitter, not very bitter. Mm. This 
one is harder. Really? Mm. Mm. I don't like the texture of this Maybe one. Maybe because you need to put it in the water longer. Mm. The texture of this mochi is weird. Mm. Mm. I like the other one better. Okay, final thoughts. Um, this one I would give a 5 out of 10 as well. Because for the red bean one, the texture of the soup is not really on point. However, the mochi was really nice. And for this one, the matcha tastes better, but the mochi is... Mm. But this is indeed a very interesting product that you can try if you're interested in instant food. And would I go for it again? Probably not, <laughs> because um, this is like really interesting now and I'm not really sure if um, I'm going to come back because it's interesting. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Anyway, it was really fun trying out these two. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Sub subscribe to this channel. And leave a comment before you exit this video to check out my other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>two seconds the water and the powder would totally separate like this is the red bean one and it really needs stirring up a lot these two are really fun to try red bean and matcha the colors are very beautiful very on point mm, cool 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 love new products interesting and innovative